Hello good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today I'm bringing you a match I had in the Tier 9 Premium Japanese Cruiser Azuma. Now this isn't the second impressions video, I mean, I'm sorry, the final impressions video for the Azuma, or a replay or anything. This was actually some B-roll I was just getting because I figured I might as well go ahead and do my final impressions for the Azuma. Well, about halfway through this match I realized this wasn't going to be able to be B-roll. And then toward the end I realized, well, this is just going to be a whole video by itself. Because this game is not my average game in an Azuma. I've been trying some new strategies recently, been trying to hang back more and all that jazz. And, well, you'll see what happens this match. Now, this is by no means an average match in an Azuma um, being for the good either, uh, as this is a tier 9 game. Now, in Tier 9 g games, the Azuma is actually not that bad. You can still be citadeled by anything with somewhat large guns, but you can afford to be a bit more aggressive because there's less Tier 10 stuff around. The Tier 10 stuff, that's what hurts the most. So anyway, uh, opening shot up on a Shiryatsu, first destroyer spot. Now, the HE on the Azuma is quite good. It hits very hard, like that, <laughs> especially against destroyers, only two shells hit, and I still did 3100 damage to him. That's really not bad. Now, the AP on the Azuma, it's not lacking either, but you don't get the nice pin angles that you do on the Alaska. The Azuma, for some reason, didn't get the same type of tricks that the Alaska did. I'm not saying it should have gotten better pin angles, but just more <laughs> more of something because she doesn't get radar which is very strange the Kronstadt has radar Alaska has radar Azuma no radar um and that strikes me really odd because the other two definitely have it and she doesn't you figure some super cruisers being made late in the war in World War Two would have radar um I, I don't know it, it, why they chose not to give it not, not to give it that and is beyond me. It certainly would help her out a lot. She's, I guess I could say she's not very gimmicky, besides just being a bullet sponge, which, she, well, she's not even that good of a bullet sponge, because she can't even take that many bullets, as you will see here in a second. So anyway, enemies going heavy, see, my team's kind of floundering around back here. Uh, I thought we were going to go C, but then not, but then it looked like we were going to go B, A, but then... A couple of ships did decide to go to C, so I'm like, all right, I'll finally s decide to support them there at C. I uh, had AP loaded for hopefully taking another shot on the broadside cruiser, because on broadside cruisers, the Azuma's AP will wreck them. It, it hard. <laughs> Against battleships, eh, not too much. If they're perfectly broadside, you'll take some good chunks out of them, but it's best to use HE. Because the HE, again, it hits hard, and it pins pretty dang good. And it's somewhat okay at setting fires. It's no Zao, but she's not struggling to set any fi fires either, if you get what I'm saying. You know that NorCal and Eden are having a little bit of a wreck there. And funnily enough, because they're having a wreck, I actually get a nice salvo off. Uh, st set a fire on one of them. I got about 5,000 damage in pins. Again, brought some Mayoko. That's who I had AP loaded for. Ooh, Missouri, there goes half my health. Oh, I what there goes with the other. <laughs> yeah. This thing cannot tank worth a crap. Its citadel is high. Its armor, it's thinner armor than the um, Alaska. I think it's 20 millimeters. It's not 25. Um, it, it, it cannot tank. It, it can't. That's, out of, that's not even an option for it. I can only tank broadside on against cruisers, some cruisers, and destroyers. It, and I get, you know... Dest cruisers should really be able to tank against battleships, but good god, I wasn't broadside onto them. I still lost, lost almost half my health. Thankfully, I do have the repair flag and <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, and uh, premium consumables on, so I do get five repairs. Which, sometimes you get to use all five of them, sometimes you don't live long enough to. It, it depends on how much you get citadeled, which in the Azuma tends to be... A lot. So, enemy team's rolling pretty heavy. See, my team has A, and it looks like we're thinking about going for for B. Not really sure. I, I mean, I'm not sure, and I don't think my team's sure either. 
So I'm hanging in the back. I'm actually the furthest ship back besides the carrier right now. And yeah, this says a lot about the Isuma. <laughs> Uh, so they're they're taking C pretty pretty fast here. So I'm I've backed off. I'm trying to target this Bismarck, get some fires going on him, or at least get some good HE pins. Which I mean, that's a lot of superstructure on the Bismarck, so pretty easy to get some good pins on it with HE with any ship really. And the Azuma does have okay. Uh, there's a fire. It does have okay-ish dispersion. It's not fantastic. It's not bad. It is consistent. I gotta give it that. The guns are pretty consistent on this thing when you're using HE. You saw I did take a pretty good chunk out of that Bismarck's health that attests to how good the HE is on this thing. Ooh, close miss there. And that poor Missouri is being harassed by the Red CV and most of the enemy team. And I would have gone up there and helped them if I was pretty much anything but an Azuma. Because Azuma just cannot take any punishment. There's a lonely Runa out there. I'm about to make him a little less lonely with some HE love. I'm trying to see if he's going to turn. Looks like he's going to keep going straight on. So I guesstimate where he's going to go. And he starts to turn. Eats some shells from Missouri. And eats a ton of my shells too. And there goes another 3000 damage and a fire. Now he's opening up. And the thing about the Azuma is I really wish. You know, uh, I wish the the reload was a bit slower it I mean I'd be a bit faster my bad because it is just ooh 5,000 damage there a bowship to do most of the other damage he's now burning unfortunately the adding comes in and still is my kill how sad and I do wish the reload was a bit faster because the other two super cruisers are quicker than it but the guns do hit pretty hard so I guess that is justification for it being a second slower now here's a lone Missouri Sir Loin He's brought that onto me, um, and I'm brought that onto him. I'm thinking, well, should I fire him? Should I not? And I figured, ah, screw it. I might as well take my shot while I can. He's being fairly good there with his speed. He's playing with it. It looks like, or well, he's just trying to get him to cover. That's that's the one thing about. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Nine thousand damage on the Missouri again. Seven pins with HE. Very nice. Battleship players, um, we do need to modulate our speed a bit more rather than just going full throttle the entire time. You'd be surprised how much that does help and that does mess up people shooting at battleships because most of them expect, and again, 6,000 damage on the Missouri. People do expect battleships to just be flooring it most of the time, so if you play with your speed, that really throws people off. Uh, even more so in battleships than it does in cruisers because really, look at most of the battleships on your team next time you're playing. Most of them are probably just flying around at full throttle. So those of you that may have been paying attention to my team's ships, we're down four ships. The enemy team is only down two ships. It's not looking so good so far. The enemy team is up by 400, by uh, almost, yeah, by 40 points on us. And there's Mr. Sirloin and the Missouri again. And for some, some way, their Mayoko just sunk itself by ramming. I, I don't know. This isn't a replay file, so I can't go back and check. See, they all seen that there's another Mayoko that maybe he somehow was hitting it and it counted as friendly fire. I don't know. He sunk himself by ramming. It's a mystery to me. So, 4,000 damage on that Missouri and a fire set. And now, the cyclone has moved in. Everything has an 8 kilometer detection radius. So, the Missouri down to the, uh, you know, even me and the Azuma or any other cruiser we now all have an 8 kilometer detection radius the only thing with a small detection radius and that is the destroyers and that Missouri just got nuked by the implacable that was very cinematic and that poor Missouri he is now sunk so what I'm doing here is this I was being shot at and he's all by himself so I figured okay I'm gonna go over there distract them because I think it's just a couple of cruisers shooting at him and you know help take the fire off of him a bit because you know it sucks being targeted being targeted by multiple ships in a battleship. I know. And if you look on the mini map, you can see the ships that I'm worried about, the ones coming from sea, they keep popping in and out of this Iowa's detection uh, range. So they're at pretty much at maximum distance that they can be, so 8 kilometers. And there is the Eden. Starts going broadside, let HC fly, get AP queued up. <coughs> Ooh, drills in pretty good, 9,000 damage. I am detected and ooh hoo hoo hoo. Big hits there from the Edin. That's from an Edinburgh. That's a light cruiser. 
So I popped in some of the, the, the defensive fire consumer well to deal with those planes that, that sailed it, that uh, flew into my A range there for a second. Of course, I am with an Iowa, so he has a pretty decent AA if he's even somewhat built into it. So I get detected here, and I'm like, oh, well, crap, I'm detected. So I keep expecting the ship that um, is detecting me to, to pop up. And it takes a second for it to do that. I'm like, well, how am I still detected? But anyway, there it is. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. It's an Iowa, so I start look, slamming some HE into his face. And then I didn't realize this, but they just got pinged on the minimap. <laughs> There's three destroyers in front of me. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, well, this is going to be fun. Uh, thankfully, I do have the double rudder on the Azuma here, so it is quite maneuverable. But, I mean, this was a big old crap moment. If you notice on the ships now, we have stabilized. We are both down five ships. And now it's about to get a bit interesting. So the turrets and the Azuma don't move that fast. The reload isn't that fast, and I have to fight, well, two destroyers now. The CV got one of them. Look at this just wall of torpedoes that I'm assuming one of our destroyers flung in here. So the implacable is circling overhead, and there's the Ganevni. Hello, Ganevni. And goodbye, Ganevni. Hello, Jutland. Again, this thing's HE hits hard. Jutland was shoving AP into my side, but now I'm about on. He's reloading for an HE. And ow. Hello, Mr. Jutland. Look at this. Look how neat that dispersion is. That is lovely. 6,000 damage and Confederate. Now I'm chasing down an enemy Jutland with assistance from my friendly Jutland and the Iowa behind me. So he's opening up. Looks like he might be ready, getting ready to get torpedoes off of me. Another salvo off on him. Goodbye, but the Iowa finishes him off before I get a chance to. How sad. So now my team is up, but we just went from losing this thing to winning it. Boy, the things that can happen in a cyclone. So my team is now up by, oh lord, 500 points about, give or take a little bit. And that's when the Missouri player, Sir Loin, notices me. So, Sir Loin, hello, here's your shout out. Nice shoving HE in your face, I'm sorry about that, but hey, you seem like a pretty good Missouri player. And now I turn back around because there is the NorCal and the Bismarck and the Edinburgh and their CV still around. And the ships up north of B, well, they are pretty evenly matched right now. We get two battleships against two battleships and a cruiser. You got one battleship and a cruiser against... Oh, now you got one battleship and a cruiser against one battleship and a cruiser. So I need to go up there and give my team some assistance. So I start paddling my way up there. <coughs> now granted, there is a North Carolina up there. He can easily shred through my armor, but he's being occupied by, I believe, our North Carolina at this point in time, or our Moggy. There's also an Edinburgh up there, who is probably shoving AP into the side of that Amagi or whatever that our friendly battleship is up there. Oh, it was a Bismarck, and now it's sunk. So their NorCal just took out our Bismarck, which leaves one cruiser against a battleship and another cruiser. This could still go either way. It's That North Carolina's got three kills. Hats off to that guy. So this isn't over just yet. And I know that Edinburgh's somewhere in the smoke around there. So I'm getting my guns turned and ready to nail him when he pops out. Now their North Carolina is currently still doing battle with our cruiser and our carrier. But North Carolina does have pretty decent... Ah, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> he's burned out. And here is their Edinburgh 16,000 health left. I have AP loaded. The Black Machine is ready. And I shave 14k off with a citadel and six overpins in a pin. But Edinburgh does have that super heal. So now he is healing. Probably already dumped torpedoes in the water. I am turning in to start be to start bouncing his AP. My guns reload. I let the shells fly again. And another citadel and good night, Edinburgh. Whoo! This was the match in the Azuma. For me, this was the match. <laughs> 131,000 damage done, 19,000 XP after modifiers, 4,000 free, free XP after modifiers. Number one on the team, two kills, three plane shot down, 1,900 base XP. Whew! This was a very good game in the Azuma, considering how squishy this thing is, and this is a testament to how good the guns are. You saw how well the HE shells and AP shells performed in this match. 
And that does sum up the Azuma quite well. Her guns are very good, but the ship itself is a bit meh. Not gonna lie. Does this make the Azuma worth the purchase? No, I, I have no doubt that I could have done the same thing, if not better, if I was in the Alaska. But for being the Azuma, this was a very good game. I just thought I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and ag again, this by no means means the Azuma is this amazing ship. It's just the guns are amazing. The ship itself, it, the, the hull is not, um, which, you know, when the, uh, oh god, what's the, the tier 10 version of this thing, or the, uh, oh god, the version of the Azuma was supposed to be, the name for that thing, that one's coming out too, I cannot for the life of me right now remember the, remember, remember the name of it, but with the torpedoes and the better armor and the better AA, that ship's coming out, uh, probably in the next patch or two. And you should save your money and coal for that ship, or the Georgia. Uh, but, yeah, again, just a very good game in the Azuma. And, you know, it shows how much I've grown with learning how to play the ship. But, again, an above average game. Average with the Azuma for me is about 70, 80,000 damage a game. I mean, and again, I had to be top tier in this game for this to happen. If those were tier 10 battleship shooting at me, I probably wouldn't have survived the, the, that first uh, couple of salvos of the day, honestly. If that was a yammy that shot me, I probably would have been dead. <laughs> Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to 2,500 subscribers. We're already well on our way there. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the growth that we are still getting. It's been amazing, you guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. Make sure you join the Discord. Link is in the, the description down below. And I hope to see all you guys in the next one.